Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall and this video is part of a series called App Hacks. This video that I'm going to show you in this instruction uh, screencast that's going to follow is one for GP's Notebook. GP Notebook is only available on iOS and at the time of recording it is around £22. It's uh, an app for GPs and junior doctors to uh, investigate various conditions and ailments and uh, make their own notes and do their own research on their tablet device. So I'm going to show you now how it works um, as part of the video. So this is GP Notebook, which is uh, on iOS at the moment, and at the time of recording was £22 to purchase from the App Store. It's um, aimed at clinical practice in the United Kingdom and a clinical reference for general practitioners and medical students. So um, <clears throat> it works quite simply by being able to um, search for particular terms. So if I want to search for, um, say, heart disease, I just go to the search little, uh, little icon and just type in heart disease <clears throat> and hit search. It will then bring up all the um, uh, articles tied to this. So if I want to have a look at coronary heart disease, I just select that and it will bring up all the information regarding this and it's, it's um, quite comprehensive the amount of information there. it's got the references at the bottom as well and um, other other uh, incidences so we can look at uh, risk factors relating to uh, uh, heart disease so we can we can um, go through each one and drill down into the information relating to it and there is the option to um, make notes so if I'll just go back to the uh, previous one and just click on here I can go to this little pencil uh, icon here and just click that and I can start to write an annotation so I'll just write test so I can put in notes like so click save and that will now save as an annotation. I can see now a little number one has appeared next to the pencil, so I know that I've made a note by the side of it, and I can also bookmark it. So if I click that, there's a little kind of uh, tick appears over the little bookmark, showing me that I've saved this particular page. And there's also a share button next to the pencil. If I select that, it then gives me an option to um, email. And here is the link to this uh, and I can just type in an address and it will automatically put my address in to, to send it from and it will share the um, that particular piece of page. So I'm just going to close that down. Um, if I go back and go to this little um, uh, I function here, uh, I can get to my bookmarks in the top left hand corner. If I click bookmarks, it will bring up any bookmarks that I've saved. So there is the one I've just saved on heart disease. So it's one of these that um, it's very, very simple to navigate around. I've got a history, I can click the history button. I can see what I've looked at, what, what topics I've looked at. Um, and um, as you can see, it is pretty much um, quite self-explanatory as an app. It's one of these that you just need a minute or so just to play around with and you can, you can start to find Find your way around so it's a very very useful uh, app to to have on your device I'll just click home and in here I've got all the contents as well I don't have to type anything in I can start by looking at uh, actual content so when I look at say geriatric medicine if I click on that it will bring up the uh, various options in here so I've got basic knowledge in geriatrics I've got problems in geriatrics so if I click basic knowledge in geriatrics it then gives me all these links here. I've got the WHO classification of impairment, disability, um, and handicap. So again, I can go in, look at these. I can make annotations. I can bookmark them. I can export them as an email. So it's a useful one to have. It's twenty-two pounds at present, uh, and available on iOS at the time of recording. Um, but uh, a useful one for uh, junior doctors and um, well, any kind of practicing clinicians to have on their tablet device.